so I am on campus um, my male students um, they have two ceremonies to complete one will be the African American Culture Center honoring them as black students because we a PWI predominantly white institute or institution if you didn't know but um, we'll do that and then the t the actual graduation will go on after this so stay tuned I'm just waiting on Tony and Chris so I can bless them with their stones because people will are out to get you like you said the wolf yeah. and sometimes they don't even know that they're being the wolf like you said sometimes they want to be the sheep but it's those other people that they're surrounded by mm -hmm. that's causing them to continue to be a wolf mm -hmm. and they don't know how to escape they're not they don't have to be real to themselves and see that transparency that they need to see so it will look like this fall 2017 Confident Couture, APSU, established 2009. It will have, excuse me, it will have their name. His name is Chris. And his, his name that I gave him um, is CC christening his name is Chris and like the K the I the energy to emphasize the king in him yes CC christening I'm so proud of him all right fall 2017 confident couture APSU established 2009 and then his name which is Tony. And then his name is Chocolate Saver. Because everybody's calling him Mr. Chocolate. So I thought that'd be cute. Name play. <laughs> so congratulations, guys. Hey. So proud of my baby. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just waiting on mine. Okay. I did like four semesters. I did not. Tony been in there since he stepped foot on Austin Peay. He's been in there. He's been trying to since the time was beginning. Look at your name at the bottom, babe. Since the time was beginning. So that's going to be the baby. Chocolate set. You childish. What did you say?
my chocolate flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Hey peeps, so we are on the way to the formal graduation at the Dunn Center. Yes, I'm coming Tony and Chris and Drew. I love you. Christopher and Ryan Gibbs. Yes, honey. She had to go home and get a, uh, something bigger. It was cold outside, honey. She had to go get her cook a lion out the closet, okay? I'm at, I'm at Tony's little dinner. Here's Tiara. See she fell. Ow. She got a bun in the oven. You can't tell, though. Ow. Come around over here. I'll take it when I get yours. Now hold that top on when you pour it again. Oh, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Y'all see my food? These are the steakhouse wings. I got buffalo sauce and ranch. Some fries. And these are like chicken wraps or sauce for the Lord. Hey fam, it's your girl CCLV Christina. Welcome back to my channel. Alright, if you are not legit CC fam, Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell. Make it ding so you won't miss a thing. Okay, thank you so much. Y'all are so supportive for my vlogmas. And I'm here for it. So, this is where I'm dropping encouraging nuggets today to get you through the holidays. So, um, on today, today is Vlogmas Day 16. Are y'all keeping up? Anywho, yes. Okay. So, 16, we're going to talk about gluttony. <laughs> Just being very frank. And, you know, some people, you know, when they be doing encouragement and motivation, they be tiptoeing and not really tapping on their issues. But let's talk about gluttony. And not so much just over exertive in food, but in life, okay? So, you know... We pig out during the holidays. You got Thanksgiving and then turn around, you got Christmas. Now let's just back it up even more. Honey, no, 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 no. You got Labor Day. Turn around, you got Halloween. Then you turn around, you got Thanksgiving. Then you turn around, you got Christmas. So it's like boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so, yes, with um this segment, I want to talk about, um, I guess, being overindulgent in something and for me it's not necessarily food for me it's actually drinks not like alcohol but just like fruity juices and sprites and it becomes a handicap almost so I just want you to recognize 
um, the stronghold and be careful about um, adapting a handicapped behavior that may turn into something that's gluttony. Okay, so you know, you have to overcome and overpower that thing. Um, in the holidays, especially for um, you sheroes and heroes <laughs> that uh, keep it right, keep it tight during the holidays, but you might, uh, should I have a cheat meal? Should I, should I just do dessert? Should I just eat the food? Should I, you know, do it all? Should I just do holiday drinks? Um, so I, I commend you all that are strong and not fall into the trap of the holiday food and the holiday spending, overspending. And I just commend you all. And I encourage us. <laughs> that's, that's a little overindulgent in other things. To don't be hard on yourself. And the first step is always the hardest step. But because I've already overcame this with the power of the Lord, it's going to be okay. I'm going to leave those sprites alone. And y'all just touch and agree and believe God that, that I'm going to overcome this <laughs> with, um, um, with the sprites. <laughs> And whatever you are struggling, it's okay as long as you are honest about the struggle. Because the struggle is real. And that's okay. But don't, don't, don't be complacent and waddle in your gluttony. It's At, at a certain point, you got to do something about it. It's, it's just, it has too much power. So you, you really, just be careful about that. And if it's just food or the holidays or you just enjoying yourself, do you. But if it does not have power over you, yes, that's fine. But if it's something has power over you and it becomes a situation that is almost gluttony or, you know, just, just being over the top and over... <laughs> <laughs> just too much and it becomes a problem please seek help please get it together i'm not the one to sugarcoat and hold your hand and baby you like no nip that ish and get it together because sometimes we do we need tough love we don't need nobody lying to us and i'm not that type to be sitting here and lying to people and babying people like no cut the ish out get it together you know just because it's not crack or just because <laughs> just because it's not uh you know drugs and all that stuff don't mean it's not bad for you so figure out what's toxic in your life Figure out what you are, what you have too much of, of what you're doing too much of that's not good for you. You might be a shopaholic and it's tearing up your credit because you ain't paying a light bill. You, you're tossing a coin over a phone bill or a purse. So, it could be anything. So, I just wanted to come to you real quick and talk to you about Vlogmas Day 16 about gluttony. Well, I love you so much. And if it's strong... It's still, I'm staying right with you. But it's okay. It's okay. We're going to get this together. Alright. Well, I love you so much. And please enjoy your holiday season. I love you so much. Always remember that confidence is a lifestyle. And don't you dare go anywhere without it. Don't you dare go out the door without it. I love you. And I'll talk to you later.